Welcome to the IVM Podcast Network. If you like listening to Simplified, you must listen to my friend Amit Verma's podcast, The Seen and the Unseen, where he talks about the seen and the unseen effects of public policy. It's fascinating and it's definitely worth a listen. Check out new episodes every Monday on your favorite podcast app or on IVM's app. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to yet another episode of Simplified, the podcast designed to make you sound wiser. Without actually making you so. Exactly. And while we try our best, if you inadvertently do manage to learn something from listening to it. Uh, our sincerest apologies. Okay. So that is out of the way. So what's new, Chuck? You look strangely dispirited. No profundity of the day today. Uh, actually, <laughs> I have a profundity of the day and I think that's what's causing the dispiriting. Mm. So here we go. Mm. Um, okay. For people who don't know what the uh, profundity of the day segment is, we usually take out rubbish from our WhatsApp groups of various backgrounds. And the stellar and, candidates and the stel- for these are uh, the building WhatsApp group. And, <laughs> the uh, world famous <laughs> building WhatsApp <laughs> group that I am a part of. Yeah. And of course... Various family WhatsApp group. By hmm. the way, uh, you will notice that uh, third dulcet voice is not part of the show today. That's because he's uh, somewhere in the inner reaches of Bengal doing some research that's going to change the face of some multinational companies marketing fortunes yeah. so important things yeah and we'll let you know yeah. what company that is so that you can quickly invest in those stocks yeah yeah uh, hi Shriket we mm-hmm. still miss you okay anyway so here's the profundity of the day so it's uh, it's a, it's by itself a nice picture I must say this is one of the best looking aesthetically this profundity of the day is actually uh, one of the better ones that we've seen it's got two plants and two rooms like Huh? They're called anthuriums. I know Anthur- those. Okay, yeah. wow. I was just about to say red money plants, but okay. <laughs> when you feel the whole world is standing against you, turn around and take a selfie. S E L F I. You will find the whole world behind you. Kya baat. Good morning. Have a nice day. Yes. So, any, any, you want to add anything to that, Narayan? This is one of those uh, forwards which leaves you actually speechless for a while. <laughs> I, was, yeah. I'm ac- I was actually a little disappointed seeing this because yeah. selfie, S-E-L-F-I was yeah. capitalized. So I actually expected a, uh, it was an abbreviation. Uh, yeah, an acronym. An, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of which, that Venkronim Naidu is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what are we talking about today, Narayan? Boredom. No, no, no. I mean, what are we talking about? Not what? The purported outcome of what we do is <laughs> quiet, you young whippersnapper. You would be happy to what? know that many people <laughs> have. <laughs> the, yeah, I, I delight in digging out old English cuss words, which yeah. are like whippersnapper. And, when you uh, say old, you mean 16th century? <laughs> sort of. <yeah>. Okay. <laughs> whippersnapper, nice. Shakespeare had a lot of them. Malapert knaves and some. <laughs> yeah, so you can call people malapert knaves and get away. Studied with him at MIT, did you? <laughs> Anyway, huh? So, what was it uh, we were talking about? Low blow, yeah. Hey, anyway, yeah. So, you'd be happy to know, as I was saying, that many people have personally told me that they found our podcast interesting. Are they on your payroll? Sort of, but uh, <laughs> that I'm sure that is completely independent. independent. Yeah, 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 nothing yeah. to do with it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but seriously, what is boredom? Come to think of it, I can think of examples of mind-numbing situations such as waiting in line at a ticket booth, watching a Madhur Bandarkar movie, or being stuck in traffic. But how to define boredom? Interesting question, and one that uh, prompted my quest for an answer. The good thing about quests for answers these days is that one does not have to climb up a Himalaya or uh, meditate in a <laughs> Dandakaranya forest. <laughs> one merely has to... <laughs> Open Chrome and Google? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So I did that and uh, I found that a 2012 review of boredom research that was conducted in educational settings suggested that boredom is some combination of an objective lack of neurological excitement and a subjective psychological state of dissatisfaction, frustration or disinterest, all of which result from a lack of stimulation. Uh, So, long story short, you're saying boring teacher, frustrated student. Been there, done that. From both sides of the fence too. Oh, low blow, low blow, (laughs) low blow. So, for listeners who don't know, Chuck is also an occasional teacher. Yeah, yeah. At several... 
top top management uh, yeah, uh, yeah. institutions you don't yeah. need to uh, pimp me out <laughs> agent uh, yeah yeah so which goes I, to show that you can fool some other people all, all the time <laughs> but you can apparently fool 160 pgp students all the time all the time, all the time. Yeah. which is uh, you know there's something that uh, i've always been meaning to ask you huh. uh, you've evolved as a person because you know you're a professional Darwin. you do things okay, like uh, yeah that way you do things for a living and huh. you get insights into whatever you are hmm. teaching and uh, when when you stand in front of a bunch of students hmm. and uh, get that across do you get what what do you what is the biggest thing do you get respect do you get uh, sort of uh, you know disdain do you get uh, sort of what is this guy is talking about what what is the overwhelming emotion i like well if the feedback forms are anything to go by then it's reasonably decent but one thing i sort of make very clear is uh, i listen I, i tell people right up front listen i don't care about attendance and stuff like that so if you want to leave leave whoever's interested please yeah stay and back. If so if i think stay back yeah, despite that i think that amount yeah. of genuineness is something that's happened but i quite enjoy it actually because i end up learning a lot of stuff so i teach digital marketing in a few places and it's such a field that's evolved is it evolves every time like mm. i remember i just started smc a few days back and over there i was telling kids uh, the uh, imagine me a 32 year old uh, telling a bunch of 22 23 year olds about snapchat and i tried to teach them i was saying and i was saying something that i knew about snapchat saying ha huh, you can't save the images or something and then two people immediately shot their hands up and said sir no this been an update two days back and you can actually do it right now <laughs> so you end up learning a lot of interesting things you also end up seeing a lot of things in a different light which you didn't consider yourself before uh and i've had some you know really really cool ideas uh, that have come out of classroom <laughs> discussions i remember once i was uh, talking about mobile marketing i know this is totally different from what we are what we are supposed to be talking about on the show uh, i was talking about mobile marketing and i was teaching these kids about high fancy things like augmented reality that i was fully uh, expected to jump into vr and all that and i i just asked the kids right up front tell me one way in which you can use the mobile for marketing they said whatever we are uh, smsing one hand shot up and said sir you can use it for cold calling wow <laughs> <laughs> i was speechless <laughs> so yeah uh, interesting yeah so yeah jokes apart uh, although boredom is as familiar a feeling as excitement or fear science has only just begun to understand what makes people bored hmm. So recently six scientists who emerged from living for a year in isolation on the Mauna Loa volcano in uh, Hawaii it's called a high seas uh, project I'm which is assuming that's uh, Venkronem Naidu uh, which is <laughs> yeah, Hawaii space exploration analog and simulation experiment so high seas and what they do basically is a very interesting project and they put people on a very desolate place which is selected for the single characteristic it is a maximum mars looking place like so very <laughs> desolated also they went and they keep them for a long period of time and mm. then they try to monitor what they feeling their body mm-hmm. functions ye wo so one of the big things that everyone was whining about is the boredom mm. yeah so uh, there's no really good way of measuring that it's some like defining it yeah yeah and what if we send you off on a mass trip and somewhere around the kuiper belt and all you say for you know can't go you back turn, you yeah. and you'll be uh, chewing everybody else's head <laughs> i remember when i when my kids were growing up and they were bored they were terrors i'm getting bored i i don't know what to do i don't and i'm supposed to entertain them <laughs> and i'm supposed to entertain their mom also You're supposed yeah. to entertain the listeners also, by yeah, the way. So yeah, not, yeah. Don't sell yourself short. Hopelessly yeah, yeah. failing on all counts. So <laughs> please excuse. Uh, again, again, mm. Okay, whatever. Mm. Uh, so there's no, like you said, there's no way of measuring that, right? It's like depression or apathy, or to some extent, pain also. Like things that are a little difficult to measure or yeah. impossible, really. So a scientist named Dankert has studied this extensively and he says that boredom differs from apathy in that boredom is unpleasant in a mm. way apathy is not so if you're bored sure. you sort of you know he calls it an aggressively disturbing state so if you're bored you're like pissed about it 
and if you are apathetic you just apathetic so yeah. that's that is one difference and uh, about and depression, depression yeah. yeah so boredom he says is similar except that they you know the similar in the sense that both of them are unpleasant states of low arousal Mm-hmm. So, in both in boredom and uh, I know several other things that can be unpleasant states of low arousal, <laughs> but let's not get there. <laughs> yeah, too much information. So, but uh, yeah, depression tends to involve negative inward-looking focus, and oh. uh, so you it's internal, hmm. right? And boredom is external. The world is boring you. Something sure. is boring you. The people you are with, you are, are exciting, you. but you are yeah. in a boring. My sure. co-host on the podcast is boring. Huh? That's that's <laughs> such a mean thing to say about Sri Ket when he's not here. <laughs> well played. Hi Sri Ket, yeah, okay. once again. Hope you're doing well in yeah. wherever you are. So perhaps uh, that is why it is said to be one of the main drivers behind uh, creativity. Hmm. So if you're if you're pissed about being bored, you're likely to do something about your mind is. So yeah. we'll I think we should come back to this after a little break. Yeah, yeah. Lest uh, yeah. we bore people. Bore people. Yeah. And see you soon. Stay yeah. tuned. Yeah. What's the best new restaurant in town? Which bar sucked? What's the worst new Hindi film? What's the most obscure thing to do on the weekend? And what's the most interesting new walking tour? If you want to know how to make the most of Bombay, listen to the podcast by the dailypow.com. We are Pranuti, Amit and Purva. We're your guide to what to do, see and eat in the city. You can find new episodes of the podcast every Monday on the IVM podcast app or any other podcasting app that you prefer and on the dailypow.com. And we are back, and we are talking about boredom, boredom and yes. the science behind it. So, Narin, carry yeah. on. So, we were talking about boredom and creativity, right? Yeah. And how uh, boredom seems to Fuel. be very bad. Yeah. People hate being bored, and that seems to make them creative, hmm. right? So, the article, one of the articles that I read, uh, referred to a study in which researchers at Penn State University found. that participants who are bored outperformed those who were relaxed elated or distressed on creativity tests interesting yeah really? and uh, they are very interesting tests also so first they were asked to watch video clips designed to elicit specific feeling which means bored mm-hmm. right bore the hell out of them so yeah. people are uh, you know they 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 students they mostly students mm-hmm. who are professional respondents and they do all this to earn a few Quick dollars luck, yeah. or maybe a burger and fries or something sure. like that so in this case they would have really earned it because they had to sit through some really boring ass videos what happened was they were given creativity test so that there will sure. be one controlled group and one experimental right. group and the control group wasn't shown any of these videos mm-hmm. and the experiment group was was exposed to and, the videos and yeah, and they would give them questions mm-hmm. uh to assess uh, and and their re- replies were assessed so right. you know they you'll ask them what is a mode of transport and the control group will say things like car and bus and these guys board guys will come up with things like camel hyperloop a yeah hyperloop something Tra- like that teleportation yeah. and you have many 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 such responses and then you sort of rank them on an order of uh, unusual sure. unusualness and then sure. you sort of calibrate it for elon musk must have been a very boring per- <laughs> must have been a very <laughs> bored, bored person, person yeah. and who is right now boring <laughs> yes. yes boring boring, boring because yeah, yeah, yeah. boring as in boring yeah, okay yeah. yeah as in drilling a hole yeah no need to spell it out now then it's fine <laughs> one is called a remote associates test where you're given some seemingly uh, unrelated words three seemingly unrelated words and you have to figure out the connection to provide a fourth oh, word okay and in the second test the researchers provide the participant with a category and ask them to come up with an example so these are the kind of things that oh, sure, sure. so it's really a very serious sure. study so the guys who are bored are able to draw the connections better or and suggest. come up with more creative oh, okay okay uh, yeah. interesting so, so how okay uh, how can someone deal with boredom it seems like a very weird question to ask in this day and age where we are inundated with so much content to watch but yeah if you are in a situation where boredom is unavoidable what's the best thing that you can do like this is one thing that really didn't show up very clearly in my search mm. for answers okay so one of the things is a book i read many years ago actually the answer to boredom itself could be yeah. just a book yeah. itself so it's it's basically there's this fantastic book 
written by a guy named uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's written Mihali Six and Mihali. That's how it's written. Okay. And it's a book called Flow. And what this guy does is he tries to measure happiness and he tries to analyze what gives you happiness. And he made some really nice distinctions. For example, pleasure and happiness are different. So, sure. you know, if you had a good meal or somebody gave you a good massage, you would feel pleasure, but it would be gone in a in a mm, little while. No, yeah. But happiness is something which is more uh, long lasting. Yeah, more long lasting, and it's it happens in the absence of pleasure as well. For example. Uh, you could be like you're a cyclist. I know that. Sure. And when oh, you're cycling, you cycle a hundred kilometers. Your legs are aching. So you're sweaty. You're not in. Yeah. So you get but happiness, but you in a happy. serious period yeah. of pain. And there, so there is actively no pleasure. The opposite of pleasure. It's like a physiological ferric victory. Wow. 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 Yeah. Lots of yeah. big yeah. words. Yeah. Big words. Big words. Jari word list. Yeah. <laughs> Quickly go and write Jari exam and get admission to a big. You know, to yeah. Penn State University. Yeah, Penn State University. Yeah. So one of them. So he talks. What he says is that uh, if you put a you know ability on the x-axis and mm-hmm. challenge on the y-axis, if you have a very high challenge and a very low ability, you're going to become apathetic. You can't do that. Huh. And if you have a very high ability and a very low challenge, it becomes it's too easy. Too for easy you. for you. Yeah. yeah. So ideally, you want something which is. high ability and high challenge ha. so you have to keep going in that channel so you have to keep increasing both and that that let that be career advice from narin yeah. for everybody oh, yeah. if if that makes sense at all yeah, yeah. but uh, what no it pe- does it it makes sense yeah. you just need to be constantly challenged all the time yeah and uh, uh, it's uh, so th- even in the most boring of situations so he studied people who did uh, repetitive assembly line work hmm. and he found workers who managed to fi- be motivated even among that demographic merely by b- excelling at whatever little they were supposed to sure. do and setting themselves bigger and bigger challenges and keep doing it mm. so that's one other way is uh, something called mindfulness meditation which is caught on a lot sure. these days you basically sit in one place and just focus on your breathing and try not to think of anything and i've been trying it but my problem is i keep falling off asleep so <laughs> <laughs> well that's also bored me anyway <laughs> yeah. so you so do in that, that way it succeeded and uh, they say that if you're able to do mindfulness boring uh, boredom actually becomes very interesting and you become very charged mm, interesting so very non intuitive and uh, very different thing something that i've been meaning to try out so that's sure. one one more uh, thing is uh they found that people with i'm making air quotes as self control hmm. benefited from being bored because they seem to be able to come up with creative things so musicians sure. writers things like that self control what i assume so the researchers don't specify what self control is but what i think it is is that most of us if you are bored we would pick up a phone and play a game or sure something read something or... and these guys wouldn't do that they would be bored but be in that space and just be you know so oh they would continue being bored they wouldn't be bored and they wouldn't, do, any, they, they wouldn't then, do anything about it yeah or and they would do whatever they it whatever their job was they wouldn't they wouldn't uh, cop it out by taking uh, the way, easy way out hmm i went a disaster at that so i, <laughs> I just can't but i got 5 minutes i start playing chess so yeah i'm completely hopeless so but in this day and age with so many distractions when there is so much content to consume i'm actually okay i personally find it very surprising that people can get bored at all actually like whenever i'm bored as long as i actually yes and i find people being apathetic more than being bored hmm yeah actually uh, yeah yeah there's also research which indicates uh, there's also the stage of growth that you're in apparently teenagers do have a predisposition to get bored more easily more than easily. other people and i think a reason for that uh, i'm guessing that is more modern day no there is age developmental so it's the okay. prefrontal cortex oh, which okay. yeah so it it develops in a de- like it is developing and uh, when when that happens uh, there's a lot of activity sure. i guess in that region and sure. it adds it deals with cognition and things like that sure. so teenagers tend to get bored and they found that after about 22 when they transition into early adulthood mm-hmm. the there's a marked drop in in boredom hmm. yeah. okay i would assume that in this day and age again with so many distractions growing up kids aren't given a chance to 
experience boredom and they wouldn't know how to deal with it yes. so eventually when they get bored i mean one they get very easily distractible they just wouldn't know how to deal with boredom once uh, it actually That's hits true. them because when we were so a bunch of us got together from our old engineering mm. college and so we studied in manipal and it was a really boondock place at that time <laughs> and we had lots of land there and nothing sure. to do and it's really hot robert vadra never had a problem with that yeah robert <laughs> exactly but yeah in those days you had all this hmm. land sitting idly nothing to do so sure. to get anywhere from anywhere you just had to walk a lot hmm. and classes used to get over in the early afternoon and you had to kill time till bed time sure and very often you didn't have anything to speak to with your friends as well and it's we spent hours sitting together without mm-hmm. saying a word to each wow. other and it didn't seem to bother anyone it didn't anyone. seem to bother yeah yeah and now i cannot imagine doing this mm-hmm. yeah so I, yeah, i'm I, i'm at for an hour at a, uh, at, at an airport and i'm i'm just frantically looking through things and sure. watching youtube videos and listening to music or whatever i like this access thing that you spoke about like a lot of uh, the media consumption that we do uh, can actually uh, be traced back to that i mean it explains like why some people who are say advanced readers they find things like for instance a chetan bhagat novel would be very it's it's too easy for them they need something more challenging similarly Correct. people who um prefer say heavier sort of music or more complicated music like i prefer a lot of prog music for instance for me i find pop very boring purely because it's exactly. to i to me it feels very algorithmic it feels very, it's not challenging enough for me so it I need, has a depth of a jingle so that's Correct. exactly really exactly yeah. exactly which is why again yeah. classical music remains sort of like a Correct. like like the epitome really mm-hmm. because it's so complicated it's very challenging it requires you to be uh, you know alert and you feel like you've achieved something once you've uh, conquered or heard that or appreciated it yeah so this is uh, uh, just a quick summary boredom is good yeah be bored and be bored and deal with it and don't cop out and keep listening to simplified <laughs> not related about by the way become more creative yeah yeah all right okay yeah see that's it soon. see you soon bye bye good evening ladies and gentlemen this is your captain speaking sorry to say but there's been a slight delay due to the apocalypse having suddenly begun as you can see there's death destruction and chaos taking place all around us but don't you worry food and drinks will be served shortly and i would recommend checking out ivm podcasts to get some of your favorite indian podcasts we'll keep you going till this whole thing blows over thank you